Hello everyone. So now let's do this activity. I hope you remember in our previous class we give this assignment to you. Most of the guys know, and many students finish this activity. Still, some freshers are facing some issue. So no issue. I will teach them how we can perform this activity. Okay. Scenario. I already explained in our previous class. as per our management as per our manager we need to block pc1 to access the hr server okay this is a pc1 we need to block the pc1 to access the hr server as per our manager instruction and pc2 can access the hr server okay so both traffic will flow in this way from here to here like this this should be deny and this should be allow permit this is a hr server okay we are going to do this one so you will able to understand let me start first we need to do each and everything here we don't have any configuration let me show you if you see this is a router okay this is a brand new router no configuration is present here nothing we don't have any configuration here so let me start doing the configuration basic configuration i hope you already know this one anyhow let me assign the ip address and give the host name host name i will give r1 and the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 200.1.1.1255.255.255.0 no shut okay i am giving this ip to this interface and this ip to this interface just i am following the topology whatever is written in the topology i am performing that one first later we are going to perform the condition what we need to fulfill okay so let me go to the another interface that is a fast ethernet 0 by 1 this one 0 by 1 and then let me assign the ip ip address 192.168.1.1 Two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, no shut. Okay, no shut. So what we done? We assign the IP address. Let me save the configuration. Okay, and one more thing we need to do. We need to run the routing protocol because this router, this is the R one. Don't know anything about this route. Okay. same thing r2 don't know anything about this route so it is better if we run some routing protocol or static route or dynamic route any route we need to put so what we will do we will run the ospf ospf most of the time in our enterprise network we are using ospf so better use the ospf okay so what i will do here i will do the ospf also okay so let me do directly at a time same time so what i will write i will write router ospf1 okay and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then ip ospf1 area 0 and other interface is interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 ip ospf1 area 0 process id i am using 1 area will be 0 that's all i enable the ospf in f0 by 0 f0 by 1 let's do for the r2 this is the router r2 and here let's do enable config t and then we will write the host name this is the r2 and let me assign the ip address let me check what ip we have here this is the fast ethernet 0 by 0 interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address 200.1.1.2 and we will write no shirt and other interface let me check other is f0 by 1 so interface f0 by 1 ip address 192.168.2.1255.255.255.0 no shirt okay and i want to enable the ospf i will write router ospf 1 interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip ospf1 area 0 other interface is fast ethernet 0 by 1 and here ip ospf1 ip ospf let me type again ip ospf1 area 0 okay so let me check show 
आई पी ओ एस पी एफ ओके लेट मी राइट शो आई पी रूट शो आई पी रूट ओ एस पी एफ आई एम गेटिंग वन डॉट जीरो सो दिस रूट इज अवेलेबल दिस रूट आई एम गेटिंग इन द आर टू लेट मी चेक सेम थिंग इन आर वन ऑल्सो शो आई पी रूट ओ एस पी एफ ओके सो आई हैव द टू डॉट जीरो रूट ऑल्सो सो नाउ दे आर एबल टू कम्युनिकेट लेट सी दिस पी सी इज हैविंग द आई पी और नॉट दिस पी सी इज हैविंग आई पी ओके गुड एंड लेट सी दिस सर्वर इज हैविंग आई पी और नॉट या दिस सर्वर इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द आई पी एंड द करेक्ट गेट वे ऑल्सो सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल पिंक फ्रॉम सर्वर जस्ट टू चेक कनेक्टिविटी इज देयर और नॉट आई एम पिंगिंग आई एम चेकिंग फ्रॉम सर्वर टू दिस वन ओके फर्स्ट पैकेट ड्रॉप बिकॉज ऑफ आर्प एड्रेस रिसोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल आई होप यू नो आर्प इज यूज टू गेट द मैक एड्रेस ओवर द आई पी एड्रेस सो इट इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली नाउ लेट सी आई नीड टू चेक दिस पी सी पी सी वन एंड पी सी टू कैन कम्युनिकेट द सर्वर और नॉट एज पर अवर रिक्वायरमेंट पी सी वन शुड नॉट कम्युनिकेट सो लेट सी पिंग वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टू डॉट टू इट इज वर्किंग पी सी वन इज एबल टू कम्युनिकेट द सर्वर नाउ आई विल गो टू द पी सी टू एंड आई विल चेक इन द पी सी टू ऑल्सो पिंग वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टू डॉट टू राइट इट इज ऑल्सो वर्किंग दिस इज द टू डॉट टू पी सी वन पी सी टू बोथ आर वर्किंग एज पर अवर रिक्वायरमेंट पी सी वन शुड नॉट वर्क एज पर अवर रिक्वायरमेंट पी सी वन शुड नॉट वर्क बट एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग सो नाउ वी विल डू द ए सी एल आई विल यूज द स्टैंडर्ड ए सी एल टू ब्लॉक दिस वन सो हाउ वी विल डू आई विल गो हियर दिस इज ए आर टू इफ यू रिमेंबर स्टैंडर्ड ए सी एल अप्लाई नियर टू द डेस्टिनेशन सो दिस इज द डेस्टिनेशन सो आई विल गो हियर आई विल अप्लाई स्टैंडर्ड ए सी एल हियर सो वॉट आई विल डू आई विल गो इन द ग्लोबल कॉन्फिग्रेशन मोड देन आई विल राइट एक्सिस लिस्ट एंड आई विल राइट टेन यू कैन गिव एनी नंबर If you have confusion, press question mark. If you want to apply the standard ACL, then we need to use the number from one to ninety-nine. If you want to use the extended ACL, we need to write the number hundred to one nine-nine. So I will write ten. I want to use the standard ACL. Then I want to deny. What I need to deny? Host. I need to deny this computer. If you see here, I want to deny this IP. so i will write this ip 192.168.1.2 okay i will press enter if you remember access list is having by default deny if you did not permit it will deny to all so we need to write permit also here so access list same list 10 permit any i will say deny this computer and permit all other computer okay if you see deny this computer and permit all other computer okay now i need to apply i created here now i need to apply so where i can apply here i can apply f0 by 0 or here f0 by 1 anywhere i can apply if i am applying here i need to write in if i am applying here i need to write out okay so let me apply here f0 by 0 after that i will write ip access group and we need to give the number we used at if you see this number we need to write and then in why i am writing in because the traffic is going in let me write here in okay let me check yeah enter if you see if you have confusion why i am writing in then if you see the traffic flow like this traffic is flowing going like this then going like this so this traffic is into the router that's why i am writing in here if the traffic is leaving going out to the router and we are applying this side then i will write the out but where i apply if you see interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 so i apply here so we need to see the flow of traffic traffic flow we need to check so traffic is going into the router so we will write in now done now we can check and i can save the configuration i will write do wr write now i can go to this machine before it is working now let's see see 
destination host unreachable he is unable to communicate he is unable to communicate and this one let's see this guy will work because we told permit any see this guy is working so as per our manager request we perform that activity so you need to think in this way how we can perform this activity what i can use i can use prefix list i can use access list i can use the route map what i can use to perform this activity okay so this is the basic scenario in our next class we are going to check some more difficult scenario after that we can do a small organization uh what we can say structure like a small organization network we can design with the one single isp so we need to do the nat so before going to that one we know how we can configure the nat also no issue we will teach we will do that one in the coming classes okay thank you bye